Pisces, my Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces, my Pisces, Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces. What's popping water, babies? What's going on? What's going on in the life of a Pisces between the 15th and the 30th of September? <laughs> Shout out to y'all. <laughs> crazy mother who sends me emails and comments on other people's videos of what Pisces at. Look, don't be so damn rude. <laughs> if you're wondering, is mother throwing shade? No, I'm laughing because it's funny. I, I think mean, it's funny, but y'all, wait your damn turn. Y'all been going by the views, okay? So if you're wondering why mocha take it so long to get to, I've been going by the views, okay? So if you, you know, tell gang gang, send a message. Who the who? Gang gang. We need to be first again. Yeah, y'all need to come and like, view. Y'all do this shit, okay? The gang, who the who? Somebody Pisces, y'all can send it in the ethers. Who the who? And call everybody because that month y'all had 14,000 views. I was just like, sorry, 15,000. Let me put some respect on that. I was like, well, well check them out. Well, all right, Pisces. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, welcome to the Mocha Love Terror channel. If this is your first time viewing my channel. Hey, y'all, look, check this out. I may cuss a little. I may cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say, okay? So, if cussing is not for you, my baby, this is not your channel, okay? To my new subscribers, gang, gang, welcome to the family, baby. Y'all, we don't fight. We don't fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel because Mocha don't play that shit over here. I'm like big sister, mom, slash best. Like, we don't do that over here, okay? Y'all, thank you uh, to all of my. Um, all of my subscribers who did who are not new subscribers y'all still if you don't know the family rules y'all we don't fight we don't cuss we don't i'm sorry we do cuss we don't fight we don't fuss okay we share we evolve we grow okay we enlighten one another all right we are one happy family it may be a little dysfunctional sometimes sometimes it's a bad seed most gotta get the belt or get their ass up out of here you know but it's all still done with love and comes from a place of love y'all I can't thank y'all enough for the support that y'all have given me. Thank you so very much. I humbly appreciate it, okay? Y'all, this is not, um, and y'all, I mean that from the bottom, the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, y'all, the emails, just cause, like, even if you ain't got it, you just, Mocha, let me share this love with you, cause how you just made me feel in that read, I appreciate all of that, y'all. I'm growing and I'm getting a bit busier, so I don't want nobody to feel like, oh, sis forgot about me. No, I didn't. Sis is growing, and, you know, if you love me like I love you, you want to see me grow, because I want to see you grow. That's what I continuously do this for, even though I'm growing. You know, sometimes I really got to find the time to do things. Never forget, I'm a single mother. You know, so I love you wholeheartedly and I want to see the best for every single person. Don't be mad because you say, well, sis, I want to tell me to read and I got to send you a video because this is allergy season down here in Houston, Texas. So my son is one of those choo, 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 choo. He may wake up with a fat eye and a headache and y'all, it's me. You understand? So just try and take that into consideration that I am a human just like you're a human and shit be popping. All right. And I love y'all. I'm not fussing. But I have had a few instances, you know, where people just, Mocha, this, y'all, I got a life too, you know, and I just really appreciate y'all really growing with me. And just, I just add some time for that courtesy of understanding, okay? So, y'all, this is not a personal, it's a general. If you need a personal, that information will be found in the description. Also, tomorrow is the last day, the 15th is the last day for the $10, 10 minute readings, okay? So, get it in. Because my son already told me, Sunday, mama, you can't do no readings. I want mama time. So, yeah, the 15th is the last day. Get it in, all right? I am available. I may have to send it to you video. I will tell you that usually though when you book in or if we can talk, I'll let you know, okay? So let's get it. All right, so the first messages that I have for the sign of Pisces from the 15th to the 30th of September. Y'all know how I rock. We let the angels speak first. Come from the clear, sorry, the crystal angels oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. The message that you guys got is clear quartz says, let yourself feel all of your emotions. Your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you important messages and guidance. I already know Pisces, our Pisces moon. Y'all, this Virgo season has been sending our crown chakra, pineal gland, these dreams, premonitions out the roof, okay? Some of you, you may want to start journaling, okay? I keep seeing writing in my, in my third eye. Journal, okay? This card guides you to open your heart to the entire rainbow spectrum of emotions. 
This is the key to feeling great love. By allowing yourself to acknowledge the not-so-pleasant feelings, you drop defenses and open your heart. When we deny the existence of anger, sadness, and such, we close off part of our hearts. And the, and the denial means that these feelings become repressed, stuffed down, and hidden, where they can affect our mental, emotional, and physical health. This card can be a sign of receiving valuable creative inspiration based on some challenges that you've experienced. That's probably why I'm seeing that writing. Some of y'all are creators. Some of y'all are writers. Uh, spoken words, singers, writers, songwriters. It's popping now. The energy is working for you. Instead of sitting up feeling sad about all of this shit, maybe write it down. Use it. Those of you who are afraid of your dreams, afraid of things, see the synchronicities of things. Write it down. See what lesson needs to be learned. What? Why you? Why do you keep seeing the same thing? Get me? Don't be afraid. Only thing to fear is fear itself. It says now you want to help others overcome and avoid the same challenges. Y'all are spiritual teachers, Pisces, by delving into unpleasant feelings through creative expression. You allow others to know that they are not alone in their feelings. This could be a business idea, a form of healing, a book or a workshop, writing, or some other service or product that will help those who are experiencing similar difficulties. Okay, so clear course. Clear course. Clear quartz is also, also used to um, heighten one's intuition, especially if you're meditating uh, with that intention, okay? So during this time, I do see Pisces really tuning in to their emotions, and it's going to birth something beautiful. Mother wanted to speak up again. During this time, you guys, you, you require, Mother needs you to heal. See the beauty within yourself. See, look back, and you're going to be reflective, not from a sad place, but see how far you've come. Okay, just really be reflective on that and see how far you've come and see how notice that how when people piss you off during this time, because you're going through this body, mind and spirit healing, the Trinity, the Holy Spirit is coming over a lot of y'all. Y'all are having uh, messages and receiving information from esoteric beings. I'm hearing some of y'all are astral planning to other dimensions and you're gaining knowledge to bring to transmute within this dimension. Some of y'all, it's hard for y'all to sleep during this time because your third eye is booming. Some of y'all are coming into clear audience where you can hear the other side. Some of y'all can actually hear your spirit guides now instead of just talking to them during prayer. Some of y'all can, and, and just feeling them in your heart, now you can hear them speak back. Your gifts are expanding. Your intuition is during this time is going to be dumb. It's going to be dumb because this is going on, okay? Some of y'all crown chakra is going to be popping during this time. But some of you, you're going to take off that mask in order to balance out the masculine and the feminine. Because some of y'all are being so cold toward the twin flame or a soulmate. You know, this could be in your energy with someone who you're dealing with. Especially if you're dealing with someone of the air element. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or you're dealing with another water sign like yourself, okay? The angels are needing you. To love yourself, nurture yourself, not internally fight yourself. Okay? They're needing you to know that. Love yourself, nurture yourself, nurture your ideas. You see this butterfly live during this time, a lot of y'all going to be seeing a lot of butterflies possibly. Nurture your creative ideas. When you receive these downloads, you see this? When you receive these downloads from your pineal, through your crown, okay? For some of y'all, you're receiving, you're following your intuition. Some of y'all, it's your root chakra, okay? That is going, that is activating during this time, or you've made that actual chakra shift. When your chakra is pretty much the one that is being, they kind of, they start over as far as alignment. So during this time, spirit is needing you guys to align yourselves, okay? But trust your intuition, and don't act from a place of emotion during this time with certain situations that you know you need to heal from, but yet intellect, okay? Instead of looking at where you've been and where you feel stuck at, hold on to where the hell you're going and how where you were stuck at grew you. Okay, during this time, especially if you're using dealing with another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, I feel that this can be their moon energy as well, especially if you're dealing with another intuitive. Okay, because I feel like the fact that this intent this here, I feel like some of y'all are ending one cycle and going into another one. You could have recently met somebody and this person is intuitive as well. However, both of you have something to heal from. Okay, during this time, and it's actually going to allow something in the relationship, the insecurity, the no trust. Okay. From your past and things and past experiences that you both truly need to heal from to really be able to die so that something beautiful and new can be rebirthed okay it's needing to die so that something new can form here maybe the new way of seeing things a new way of looking at things okay but some of you things are falling off and people are falling off the damn cliff in your life because you are growing you are enlightened okay during this time you are a whole new person you're trying to come come out as you're trying to literally burst out as the phoenix you're walking back into your power but some of you 
You're going to end the old way that you did things, okay? In order to walk into a new way of doing things in your new in your new form, new created that you made, that you em, that you embody power, okay? So with this, I feel like some of y'all are doing this with a fire sign. Aries Lil Sag. Okay? But I definitely feel like some of y'all could also be birthing children during this time. After leaving something toxic, maybe y'all want to have, I'm hearing some of y'all broken promises. Some of y'all wanted to, wanted to deal with someone to commit to you and have children with someone. And you were wanting this so bad, but not knowing this new person that you just, just came into your life. Everything's going to take off so damn fast because you've already been through the waiting games, the karmic hurdles. You've been through the emotional distress. You've been through that. So why don't you think that you deserve good karma? Everybody don't need you, Pisces. Deal with somebody who want to be there because they want to add to you. Don't be so given of yourself. Use your intellect over your emotions right now, but respect what you feel, okay? Embrace what it is that you feel. That don't mean that you got to act all irrational and let the left hand know what the right one doing. No, just embrace it. Mm-hmm, I seen it. I ain't going to say shit because as long as I don't say shit and I play dumb, you're going to keep doing shit. And I'm going to learn to cut your ass off eventually when I get tired, period. Funny I said that at 11-11. All right. So during this time, I do feel some of y'all are definitely dealing with your Ace of Cups. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with a soulmate union, okay? And this is what you manifested. This is what you waited on. This is what you went through all them damn hurdles for and dealt with all of the bullshit so that you can appreciate the beauty that's coming towards you. But I feel like some of y'all are in this energy during this time of the indecisiveness. I don't want to see because I want to just be a damn victim and not really see what's going on, okay? This could be you or the person that you're dealing with. This could really be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Maybe you feel, maybe you see the beauty in this person, but this person has been hurt a lot in the past. This could also be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person has been hurt a lot in the past. So maybe if this person is communicating in a way that this person is loving, okay? However, this person is really just making you feel like, look, I ain't taking no shit from you, or you're making someone feel like this, baby. It's kind of hurting their feelings, and you, they're going to express that during this time. Spirit, please show me the messages for Pisces between the 15th and the 30th of September. Please show Thank you. Yeah. Some of y'all are going towards a fire sign. I have an Aries Leo Sash coming towards you. You want to communicate with this person. But yeah, some of y'all, the, the foundation, the rocky foundation that you built with someone, okay, in the past is going into a new cycle. Some of y'all are really being in your head about dealing with, um, some of y'all is two people. I see fire, I see water, okay? Um, but I do see if for those of you who are dealing with a Scorpio, you've been waiting on some form of information to come through. OK, or someone to communicate you, especially if you felt that this Scorpio was dealing with another fire sign or water sign, I mean, a fire sign or air sign. It's coming, baby. And it is going to tear the towers down. But I feel like with this person, there is so much love here. This person, you or this person could also have abandonment issues that you're needing to heal from. Some of y'all are feeling. <laughs> some of y'all, the energy is beautiful here to really create with someone and really have something beautiful. And it's literally, I feel like I'm dealing with two master manifestors. This could be maybe a Pisces and a Sag. This could be a Pisces and an Aquarius. This could be a Pisces and a Leo, Pisces and a uh, Cancer, a uh, Pisces. I'm dealing with energies that can truly manifest, okay? Here uh, in the physical, this could also be, um, I don't, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't see much earth here, y'all. I see Taurus, I see Aries, I see another Pisces, I see Scorpio, I see Libra. Um, whoa, that damn card almost caught fire. I got my little fire over here today. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you want to re re recreate your world. However, you're needing to see something that some of you don't want to visit. This could have happened 10 months ago, 10 years ago. Some of y'all, it could have happened eight years ago because I have two eights here, meaning that it's infinite, baby. You can't run from this change. Allow the universe to work for you, okay? Because somebody is definitely coming in, all right? And this could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone is coming in with some information that may shake your soul, okay? It may shake your soul, possibly in a good way, possibly in a negative way. I feel like if you're dealing with someone who kept their feelings close to their chest or they made you feel this little, when ultimately how they looked at you and their intention was this big, they just can't express that shit because they have been beat down and bruised in the past emotionally. Pisces, that's coming to a change. I feel like for some of y'all, this is definitely someone from your past. And it was someone in the past who thought that they had options. They thought that the grass was greener on the other side. They thought that some of you would not move on, but some of y'all have another soulmate. For some of you, it is a past life connection that you're needing to walk away from, that you're needing to move on from, and it's infinite. You see this? 
You see the infinite, you see the infinity behind it? And I feel like this Virgo full moon has been very reflective, but during this Aries full moon on the 24th or 25th, I believe, of September, y'all getting ready to make a move. It's time to make a decision because I feel like some of y'all have a decision. Some of y'all can live in the past and some of y'all could have to do with children, maybe someone in your energy, or you have maybe like a baby mother, baby father that's trying to come back, um, or a child's mother, child's father, however you want to look at it. I'm from the South of the country. So you may have like an ex-partner or maybe an ex-wife, ex-husband that wants to come back and work it out with you. They realize in the past that it wasn't an equal give and take, but I strongly feel the energy of maybe if you're dealing with your man watching this, your partner, your new partner. Um, or maybe if you reconcile with an old partner, with an ex-partner, um, a past life connection. I feel like if they have children with somebody else, this person's, you see, the fact that I look at all of this stuff, the fact that it's a man, especially if you have a child with this person and this person has an outside child, their outside uh, child's parent could possibly be trying to come back to them. And I feel like they're they're trying to keep the stress off of you by telling, by not telling you. Because some of y'all are just feeling out of this world. You feel that it's something that you're not seeing clearly. You feel that it's something that you just really can't see. That has, that's blocking your soulmate union. For some of y'all, this is moving towards having to do with a new person who's needing to make a judgment call on someone from their past. And Pisces, this could be you. And you're needing to make a judgment call on someone from your past. That is blocking this connection emotionally, okay? Because I strongly feel like some of y'all are is hella confused about taking an offer from a Capricorn towards Virgo. Straight, straight like that. You've already told this person how you feel. You don't want to go back to the past. You strictly just like, I want to move forward, but you may have children involved and it's kind of burdening you to walk away from your past. But Spirit is trying to help you drop those burdens. If you believe in, if you believe in better, baby, you can have it. If you believe in growth, you can create it. If you believe in success, it's yours. Yeah, some of y'all have a fire sign from the past. Aries Leo said, this person coming in with promises and sexual energy, but what it is, the actual what it is that you truly needed from this person, truth and clarity, you may not get it in the way that you want to. I feel like Pisces, y'all during this time, y'all going to be pissing people off to see how the hell they really feel. And it's going to work in your favor when you're doing so, because some of y'all... Are you dealing with somebody who keeps their feelings close to their chest, but instead of hearing what they're saying on the surface, they could have said, your ass ain't shit. You just like my mother. You just like my daddy. Or you just like my mama. And date. And it, it may be a situation where you can't stand they fucking mama. It's not for you to say. It's not for you to be like, oh, well, uh, Fuck you, fuck your mama, fuck your daddy and them, and, and, and poo poo them too. It's not for you to do that, okay? It's for you to really hear, to feel what they said. Because this, you're dealing with somebody who has some type of rejection issue or acceptance issue, and this person has exhausted their self trying to be the person who everybody may have wanted them to be in the past or everyone in their family may want them to be or expect out of them. And this person finna have a mass fucking blow up or this could be you. But I feel strongly it's outside of Pisces energy, but very strongly connected to it. Some of y'all could be going into a new cycle with someone because you find out that you're pregnant. Or, like literally, I feel like it's destined for y'all to close a cycle that's why spirit allow y'all to begin working on something with someone else. I feel like some of y'all who are looking for jobs during this time, work will be coming available, okay? And it was whatever you apply for, I feel like four months ago or four weeks ago. Also, um, with this world card being here with the page of cups, yeah, definitely some of y'all are going into new cycles with water signs, especially this person may be younger than you, but I feel like some of y'all are cutting somebody off. Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, if this is not an air sign, you cutting somebody off. And it definitely is somebody who you have children with, especially if this person is a Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Aries, um, Libra. Y'all cutting these y'all cutting these people off, okay? These moon cycles have really been making my Pisces be very reflective, but it's a good reflective. It's a reflective of where have I been, and where where they got me fucked up at, and where I plan to go, okay? Some of y'all have um, air sign. I'm sorry, 
Capricorn toward Virgo energy, okay? They come in and they're offering you money. They're offering you this, but at the same time, they're not changing their behavior and how they communicate. Some of y'all have somebody from your past, possibly that you have children with y'all who could have put you in a three-party situation, okay? Or they just wanted to reconcile, but they want to, they want to move in, y'all. They want to come in and turn the situation around. For some of them, they mean well. For some of them, they don't. If you're dealing with a tourist, this person understands and now knows how much shit they didn't put you through, okay? So I feel like this person is actually coming up as a stand-up guy, especially if they wasn't there financially for their children. They wanted to come in and balance the scales as far as karmic scales. They've been internally fighting themselves on if they're going to walk away from it or deal with it. Because I feel like this is also having to do with a fire sign. Maybe if you walked away from a fire sign in the past, this person is lustfully trying to come back. But now they see that you on your shit and you getting money. You you sitting like the damn queen of pentacles up here. You sitting real lovely. You could also be dealing with somebody who your new relationship could be someone who's financially well as well, just like you. So this person can actually, you can actually see your ace of rods being built in a new way. With newness and whoever this is, you got a lot of passion with this person, okay? And now this other fire sign who I felt was very defensive towards you, okay? This could be a water sign. Or maybe you being now you on defense with this person from your past because you feeling like, look, I got my ten of pentacles finally. It's mine. I see it here. I see me forming it. I see it coming together. <laughs> So some of y'all, when this fire sign reach out to you, you're going to let them know. Hey, say home, girl. Say playboy. <laughs> you got to go. I got to leave you on the cup. Because when I was shivering, your ass didn't even leave me with no sweater. You didn't think about me. So I'm done being defensive towards you. Done being defensive. Now I'm going to show you success is the best shit on you. Success and everything that you could not provide. Maybe you had it in you to do so. But pride is the biggest fucking dream killer. And that's what this lesson is about. Whether it's you or the other person. You the magician, Pisces. You create your motherfucking work. You understand? So go create it. What you waiting for? Somebody to come back from the past? Get your closure? Hit the door? Because what you don't know is... But the Ace of Cups again. Spirit got something beautiful for you. I got it twice. Beautiful. On the other side of the door, <laughs> for some of y'all, it comes in the form of a Leo or another water sign, Captain Pisces, Scorpio, or just a soulmate, period. Beautiful. In the form of, for some of y'all, an Aries. If you just take that leap of faith and walk the fuck away, take what the fuck you got. What the hell you did, you did build up by yourself. Be optimistic. Because this flower here, just like this flower, has to grow and sprout out the dirt, baby. You did that. You doing that. So, while this other motherfucker juggling from your past, they juggling. They juggling on if they trying to hold all their shit together because they left their good thing. You're ending one cycle and going into another one. Possibly strongly with another one. And stop fearing yourself and stand, fearing the situation and standing in your own way. It's beautiful. If you allow it to be, babe. Okay? So I love y'all. This is what I have for y'all between now. I'm sorry, now. The 15th and the 30th of September. If you need that personal, hit me up. I love you very much. I wish you much love, much prosperity, many, many blessings, and much abundance, baby. Until next time. Deuces, boo. Deuces, water babies. <laughs>